The biomarker is actually, there is no predictive biomarker for response to this triple therapy because uh, in, in some cases like melanoma and, and, and non-small lung cancer, if you had a PD-1 or PDL one elevated uh, expression of your, the tumors express elevated PDL one or, or the, the T cells uh, express PD-1, then, then that would be an indication for giving first line therapy. But for, but we have actually studied it and the PD-1 uh, biomarker, the, the other biomarkers, uh, other oncogenic drivers, you know, that like MDM2, TP53, uh, progesterone, ER, all, all those things, they, they uh, do not, they do not correlate you know, with, with uh, progression free, or with improved or, or, um, or decreased uh, progression free survival or overall survival. So I think that the important thing is one, to give it first line before the cancer cells become non-immunogenic. And also one other thing that, that I would like to say is that um, the tumor sometimes, the, the tumor cells make stroma and an agent called Delta-X G is a gene therapy product <coughs> that actually kills the stroma-producing fibroblasts in the tumor microenvironment, thus allowing enhanced immune cell entry into the tumor microenvironment, and, and therefore the immune cells can then become more effective since they're all being, they're able to enter. Previously with the stroma, that's what the, the tumor cells do to encapsulate themselves and evade the immune system.